Welcome back to the channel, man. You already know it's Tierra Vio, helping you build your financial muscle, man. Like, subscribe, comment down below, share the channel with your people, man. We're going to get straight into it. So today, what we're talking about, right? We're going to talk about what? What is a pump and dump? Pump and dump. And what I'm going to use as an example to talk about this pump and dump is going to be NFTs. If y'all remember almost a year ago, NFTs was the talk of the town. Everybody buy NFT, board ape this, board ape that. What are they worth now? Absolutely nothing. So, uh, reading the article, the reason I want to make this video, reading the article about Justin Bieber. Bieber bought a um, Bieber bought some NFTs for 1.29 million. Those NFTs have lost 95 percent of their values. They've lost. That mean they've lost 1.29 million investment. He's lost 1.22 million dollars. Those NFTs are not worth about seventy thousand, and I think the only reason why, honestly, they're worth seventy thousand to go from one point two nine million to seventy thousand. The reason why I think they're worth seventy thousand is because his name is attached to them. Now, what is a pump and dump, right? Pump and dump is artificially inflating something to get somebody to buy it for a value that is really for a value that is worth for a value that is not worth. For example, NFTs. NFTs were just pictures online. Think of how you go to Google and you could type in, uh, you could type in Chevy Camaro and that picture come up. And you got that picture now, you could download it on your computer for free. But what the trick was with the NFTs is that somebody would tell you, oh, I have this picture of this Chevy Camaro, but it's worth $100,000 because I got it. And then somebody else buys it for the hundred thousand dollars, say, hey, I bought this picture of the Chevy Camaro for a hundred thousand dollars from James, but now I'm selling it for 150, and somebody pays him a hundred fifty thousand dollars for the NFT. Now, two people made money: the person who sold it for a hundred thousand, the person who sold it again for 150. But now you're left. Now you're left holding this NFT for 150 thousand, and nobody wants it. Now that nobody wants it. Because what? It's not really valuable. There's no value there. There's not, who, what is it? What makes it valuable? There's no value there. And you can't sell it. You bring it down the price. You bring it down the price till eventually nobody wants it. And you can't get uh, the 150000 you pay for it. You can't get that back. And now you're just stuck, right? That's what basically a pumping up is. Something that is artificially inflated so people could buy it. And then eventually somebody gets left holding the bag. That's all it is, man. <laughs> that, that's all it is. Anything that is any other company. Man, my hand keeps trying. This said that means you get some money. I hope so. But um, anything that you uh, how would I? Anything that you get that is worth value, somebody's willing to pay for. Right. That's where the value is. Like you, you can't, you can't just create a picture and say it's worth a hundred thousand or say it's worth in Justin Bieber case. 1.29 million. What makes it worth 1.29 million? How? How? And people bought it. And well, he bought it. He bought it for 1.29 million. Then he lost the money. So he got pumped and dumped on. Right? It's crazy, man. Be careful what you invest in out what you invest in, man. It's the end of the year. You know what I mean? It's Christmas, the holidays. It's going to be a lot of tricksters online. The beginning of the new year going to be a whole slew of new tricks, of new new gimmicks and people trying to whatever, man. It's just don't invest in nothing that you can't see the value in. Like, you know what I mean? You invest in Apple. You can see the value. We use the product. Invest in Microsoft. 80% of computers around the world, when you open them up, is using a Windows operating system, which is owned by Microsoft. Google. Everybody use Google every day. Um, Nike. Everybody with Nike. I probably I'm wearing Nike on me right now, right? Uh, Carhartt. I'm wearing car. It's valuable. The jacket is actually a good solid jacket. The value is there, right? It's like that's the things you invest in. Things you can physically touch and it's real. That what makes it valuable. Or see how much other people are using it and see how what how what how valuable is it to them, which makes it more valuable. It just the pump and dump thing, man. It's gonna keep happening too, because people are very gullible. It's sad to say, 
and they're just, or oh, this person doing this, so I'm gonna do it, but they're not gonna actually do no research to find out what's the real cause behind it, what's the real value here. So it just sad. I mean, to Justin Bieber losing 1.29 million, probably not sad, but I'm just thinking of other people, regular average people who work hard for their money and that saved up all this money and who were buying some of this stuff and it's taking these losses now because the pump and dump is over. Now you left holding the bag. Invest in valuable companies, man. Stop investing in stop investing in hot flashes in the pan. Things that come out of nowhere and people are telling you it's valuable. How is it valuable? It's not valuable. There's nothing there that makes it valuable. It's not rare. It's not uh it's not helping anybody's life. It's not doing anything. How is it valuable, right? Like, subscribe, comment down below, share the channel with your people, man. Catch me on the next one. Go on.